here I have the third permutation theorem and this is very very conceptual and very very important so please keep in mind and pay all attention all right so let me read the theorem theorem is saying the number of permutation of a set of n objects so we have n objects taken all at a time okay taken all at a time this is when there are p objects of one kind Q objects of second kind and R objects of third kind that the total possible permutation the total possible arrangement is n factorial divided by p factorial divided by q factorial divided by r factorial all right hmm. this is a little difficult to understand but uh, uh, let me give you an example that will clear your doubt all right for a while let's say I have an uh, word let's say apple a p p l e so how many letters word it is yes this is five letter word one two three four five okay so as I told you, you know, in the just in the previous one, in the theorem two, what we have learned, if we are going to arrange the n number of letters in n different places, right? We have five letters, and we're going to arrange those five letters in five different places. One, two, three, four, five. Then simply that is equals to n factor. We had learned, right? We have here n equals to five, and we're going to place the these are the r, you know, the total places is five then simply you know even this p and r formula will give you the exact n uh, factorial like n factorial divided by n minus r factorial that's n factorial and n will cancel up that's zero factorial that's one so n factorial all right so here we have one two three four five we have five letters so apple can be arranged uh, taken five places at a single time taken all five letters at single time in five factorial way all right but do you think am i hundred percent right no my dear friend if you see properly see I'm not right Apple cannot be arranged in uh, five factorial ways when we take all the five letters single time because see here I can write like a p p l e all right uh, for a while let's say this is a p1 and p2 just for understanding so p1 and p2 next time what I'm writing I'm writing a p p l e again I'm writing Apple but this time uh, this p2 is at second position and this p1 is at third position so I exchange the position but again the word is same a p p l e a p p l e and this will happen in every word you know whenever I write next word like a p l p l e all right this is the next arrangement I made but every time here also you know p1 p2 and next time you can write this one p2 and this is p1 uh, next time I'll write let's say p p a l e so that time also this is one and two and next time you can exchange them so every word I'm writing there is two possibilities it means we do not have five factorial we have less than that alright so by looking this scenario I can 100% say that the letters of this apple a p p l e cannot be arranged in five factorial way if we're going to take all at a single time in five places this must be less than five because something is being repeated you know every time okay so uh, I'm just supposing let's say there is x number of such letters there there is x number of ways uh, in which we can arrange the letter a p p l e completely differently and every time we'll get the different word all right like like let's say a p p l e we're getting first time then let's say next time we'll get something different let's say a p p e l now this is different you know all right so like this like this you know let's say x number of words are possible such so x numbers are possible all right now I want to think it a little differently my dear friends let me repeat once again the total uh, methods the total ways of arranging those letters of Apple is X all right total total arrangement is X arrangement uh, and let's say you know here here are the X ways I haven't written all uh, let's say here, here I have one thing can be noticed you know if you see everywhere the P you know the P wherever like whenever however you have arranged it, p a p l e however you have arranged does not matter right uh, everywhere if you see p then in every word there are two p's and we know that two p's can be arranged in two different places out of the five places we have for the apple you know one two three four five one two three four five five places we have in apple and every time two places are being occupied by p P may be here, 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 may be anywhere. But two places are being occupied by P. Uh, anywhere, you know, maybe these two, maybe this one and this one, maybe this one and this one. Every time. And you know, my dear friend, if those two P were P1 and P2, let's say, right? P1 and P2. Then we can arrange those, those two P in two factorial way. You know, just like we can arrange like three uh, dif different number in three places in three factorial way exactly we can arrange this 2p in two places in two factorial way 
so in every word if you take a look this these two p can be uh, exchanged you know this can be put in here this can be put in here let's say this is p1 and p2 just like a distinct number all right though they are p let's imagine for a while they are distinct uh, distinct uh, later p1 and p2 so th this can be arranged again uh, whatever this is one then we can uh, arrange by two factor way again from this one this p this two p can be exchanged and this can be arranged further only this letter can be uh, arranged in two factor only if this was p1 and p2 all right similarly if this these two p were distinct distinct you know then again we can arrange this into the two factor only way again similarly if these two p were distinct you know let's say p1 and p2 then this can be arranged in two factor only. every word every word of this x number of ways we have x number of uh, word uh, as we have arranged apple in x number of ways so in every ways in every ways we have written these words uh, apple or what meaning with meaning or without meaning whatever we have written there are x number of ways so in every word such every word whatever number of we have we said already we have x so in every x word we can arrange them into the two factorial way that time when every word can be arranged in two factorial ways isn't this something different like we are we are taking consideration that p1 and p2 are distinct and already a l and e are distinct it means a is distinct p is distinct p is distinct l is distinct and e is distinct so all are distinct it means if all are distinct so we can arrange in x times two factorial way it simply means us that there are five letters and all are distinct so we can arrange them into the five factorial way it means x is equals to five factorial divided by two factorial so this is what I was trying to derive you. So now we can go to the generalization. Like whenever we have any word with two or more than two repetition of the letters, just like here in Apple P is repeated twice. In that cases, we have to divide the factorial of the total number of letters by the repeated one. All right, here two is repeated twice, so that's why we we divide by the two factorial. All right. Let me give you one more example. A very simple B A N A N A banana banana how do you pronounce i don't know anyways banana so if you see here n is repeated twice and a is repeated thrice okay so so if all the letters were distinct in banana b a n a n a we have only b a n n but i'm supposing for a while these all letters were distinct so if these all letters were distinct then this can be arranged in one two three four five six six factorial way but you know that a and n are being repeated so we cannot arrange in six factor way there will be something less all right maybe let's say why ways why methods of arranging banana in completely distinct way without uh, uh, without looking same words right completely different different words we we can we can make from this banana in six places all right uh, like this you know b a n a n a we have b a n a a n so here if you see they are distinct similarly b a right like this completely every time we're getting different words all right i'm not saying like this b a n a n a we have uh let's say for a while this is a1 this is a2 and a3 all right this is n1 and this is n2 okay so the same thing you know i can write again b a n a n a but this time you know this is a1 but i'm writing a2 and this is a1 this is n1 this is n2 and n3 next time you can say b a n a n a but this time this is a3 this is a1 and this is a2 and again this is n1 and this is n2 next time you can say b a n a n a but you may say no 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 this is n2 and this is n1 and this is a1 a2 a3 so there are a lot of such similar you know every time if you see every time we're writing banana 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 so there are there are so many same thing we are writing though we are exchanging the places though we are arranging differently the different different letters but every time we are getting the same letters so I am not considering such letters I am not considering such letters I am considering pure different different words alright so I am just supposing a banana can be arranged in six places one two three four five six places giving every time different different words in y ways alright so there are let's say why such words like like this these these words we have why such words total arrangement and now my dear friend in every word as we know that n has been repeated two times and a has been repeated in three times and in every uh, six places of banana one two three four five six two places are occupied by n and three places are occupied by a so this 
n two n can be arranged in two factorial way at a single time. You know, and 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 three a can be arranged in three factorial way. I mean, you can exchange these places. So total arrangement of three a taken three at a time is three factorial. Similarly, uh, total arrangement of two uh, n taken two at a time is two factorial. In every word of y number of words, right? We have y number of distinct words. Uh, made from banana in every such word if you see that can be arranged in even more number of ways if n1 and n2 were distinct so if n1 and n2 are distinct then we will get total number of arrangement uh, y times 2 factorial because every word can be arranged 2 factorial more ways if n1 and n2 are distinct all right if n1 and n2 are distinct keep in mind again and what if a1 a2 and a3 all were distinct for a while all a1 a2 and a3 were distinct then the possibilities is even more we'll get more arrangement every word in every word you know this this a this a this a can be inter exchanged and every word give us you know three factorial times more the arrangement so overall including this n and including this a total number of arrangement will get increased by y times 2 factorial times 3 factorial if all these a were distinct and all these n were distinct all right it means every word were distinct all right six out of six letters were distinct so if all six letters were distinct then the total arrangement is six factorial that's fine we know that any word of any any number of letters uh, we have let's say four letter word we have any any four letter word let's say rows then uh, rows can be arranged uh, in four different places if we have four different place, places then we can arrange this into the four factorial way all right if if we have only ros then this ros can be arranged in three places in three factorial way if we have only ro then we can arrange ro in two factorial way in two places so we have now banana having six letters so those can be arranged in six factorial way but my dear friend from here we are getting y that is six factorial divided by two factorial divided by three factorial it means if we have any word if we have any word in which two letters are repeated twice or thrice just like in banana a is repeating thrice and is being repeated twice then that time the pure distinct words that can be arranged from that word is then the total letters factorial and that will be divided by the letters that have been repeated how many times like here uh, a is repeated three times so we'll divide by the three factorial and n is repeated twice so divide by two factorial so this is the total number of uh, arrangement of banana b a n a n a completely distinctly every time the word will be different so now i'm going to the generalization based on the theorem all right and the theorem is saying number of permutation of a set of n objects so in any word we have n number of letters all right and we are going to arrange them but but there are three kinds of letter one kind second kind and third kind all right and first time of letters are in p numbers so we have to divide by factorial p and second type of the letters are in q number so we have to divide by q factorial and third type of the objects are in number r so we have to divide by r factorial just like here in banana b a n a n a we have total number of six all right but we divided by uh, the the first type first type is a a a so we have three a and and all a are same so we had divided by three and n and n there are twice uh, being repeated so we divided by two so so this is the generalization you know always keep in mind so i'm giving you a a, a, a letter and just take a look this is mississippi m i s s i s s i p p i ah this is getting very complex yes here if you see s is being repeated four times all right and if you see i i is also being repeated four times and p is repeated two times okay and anything more no so the total arrangement can you save now yes you can the total arrangement will be how much first you count the total numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 so 11 all right that is n factorial then s is being repeated four times so divide by four and then i is being repeated four times so divide by four and then p is being repeated two times so divide by two just like you know p factorial q factorial r factorial and this will give you the total number of arrangement of mississippi 
every time you'll get distinct words and the total number of letters in the words will be 11 okay well this might have been a little hectic and boring uh, my English is a little poor to explain uh, I'm sorry uh, I hope you got some concept and if you like this video please 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 subscribe the channel and motivate me